Hello, Anna Maria here. Don't feel like lace your shoes and go out today. Welcome to a new step by step episode. Benefits of music while walking. Listening to music can make your workout feel easier or encourage you to work harder. But there's no perfect workout music for everyone. Yes, indeed. What matters most is how the song or playlist makes we feel. Instead of tracking my distance with an app or constantly having to check my watch, I simply use my favorite songs. If, for example, I want to walk for 30 minutes, then I make a 30 minute playlist. This way I can focus only on the music and on my steps. When you want to increase or decrease your intensity at different points during your work, you can regulate your pace alternating slow music and fast music. Fast songs when you need to do a brisk walk, a power walk, or if you want to run faster, faster, faster. <laughs> But slower music when you are cooling down at the end of your workout. Researchers have studied the link between different types of music and exercise. And they have found that choosing tunes within specific BPM, beats per minute ranges, can help us reach our exercise goals. Hmm, that's nice. For example, your warm-up should include motivational tunes that fall into a lower BPM range. Aim for songs in the 90-115 BPM range like Forever Young, you remember that song, by Rod Stewart, or I Walk the Line by Johnny Cash. And then... Once you're warmed up, you can increase your pace with Let's Dance! <laughs> yeah, Let's Dance Extended Mix by David Bowie, 116 BPM. That's a great tune for days when you want to keep your workout moderate. Yeah, okay, stop, stop, stop here. Otherwise, we have a music pod instead of a walking one. However, there are a number of apps and programs available that can help you find music based on your goal beats per minute. And yes, you'll find the links of those songs in the description of this episode. So, If you're walking, you can go directly there and listen to them, if you want. The tempo of the music we are listening to can shape our mood. The pat, pat, pat of our feet can stimulate and shape our thoughts. When we go for a walk, the heart pumps faster, you know, circulating more blood and oxygen, not just to the muscles, but to all the organs, 
including the brain. For that reason, while walking, we can put our iPod on and learn a foreign language, for example, with amazing results. Everyone motivates themselves in different ways. Some people enjoy walking early in the morning. One, it's, <laughs> it's me. And will allow nature to be their music. However, for those who are not early birds, or for those who need that extra motivation, then music may be your answer. For me, music can be that extra push. Sometimes, not always. So, find your favorite tunes, put them on your iPod or music player, and rock out while you walk out. Another effective way to live deeply your walking can be looking around in silence and notice how many different colors we can see. Listen for sounds nearby and far away. Breathe deeply and be aware of our single step. Thank you for listening. Let you free to share your comments, messages, ideas. Get out and remember to make your body and mind feeling better. See you next time with a new step-by-step -step episode. Bye-bye!